many educators are still. They're calling it quits for a variety of reasons. KPX 5's Kenny Choi found a teacher in South San Francisco, Mrs. D, right there. She reached a turning point, and she can't seem to leave her students behind, though. Everyone thinks I'm crazy, and guess what? They're right. <laughs> There's nothing but crazy so love we'll when the, Jackie Del Bianco first. walks into a classroom. Yay! Even when she's no nonsense. You have to be responsible. It doesn't take very long to realize just how popular Miss D is. Everywhere the longtime third grade teacher goes, she gets a hero's welcome with high fives, hugs, and shout outs from former students. Their smiling faces say it all. She is always happy. She, she's always positive. It's just the joy of school. Like everybody, Miss D, Miss D. Oh my God, Miss D is here. Then it's off to the school garden Jackie and students dug up a decade ago to teach sustainability and earth science. They just received some donations to keep it growing and green. But for all this work and countless hours of commitment, Jackie doesn't get paid a single penny. She returns to work almost every day now as a volunteer after feeling burnout. She retired earlier than she really wanted a few months ago. I did not leave because of the children. I left because of bureaucratic um, reasons, um, not enough support for the teachers and for what we do. Teachers like Jackie are leaving because of their workload, more responsibilities, student behavioral issues exacerbated by the pandemic, and increasing student to teacher ratios, in part because of staffing issues that make the job more difficult. It's stressful being a teacher and having a class that's overpopulated. Well, sadly enough, I just, it was time for me to go and time for me to get out. And that's why I go back and be with my kids. Extensive surveys show some 80% of districts statewide report staffing difficulties. First year principal Angelica Garduno says all full time teacher positions at Spruce Elementary have been filled to start the academic year, but acknowledges staffing issues within the district persist. It's remained about the same. Yes, post COVID, it's been difficult, but we have a wonderful school district where we work together to help each other out and we move forward. The ongoing and daunting challenge in the years to come is for school officials parents and state leaders to somehow convince teachers like Jackie to return or retain them longer. This is my home, my second home. In South San Francisco, Kenny Choi, KPIX5.